Hello everyone and welcome back to What After Dentistry. Now during this pandemic that we have been experiencing from last year, there is a new term that has been coined or introduced and which is COVID dental batch. I still do not understand the meaning of this term, why this has been introduced, but I agree to the fact that there have been a lot of changes which were done or which have been done for the current students in dentistry be it online sessions or, you know, giving less exposure, practical exposure, not giving patients and so on and so forth. So we have been re receiving a lot of questions like what skills can we acquire to best kickstart our career or what are the various non-clinical options that we can go for right after completion of BDS. Um, questions like, you know, how can I grow my skills during this pandemic so that I can right away start the clinical practice after completing my degree, whether it's an under, undergrad, whether it is at the undergraduate level or at the postgraduate level. So to answer all these questions today, we have um, you know, some very important tips given to us by Dr. Arvind Babu. He has been on our channel before where he talked about how to have a specialized practice after MDS in oral pathology and microbiology. So here is the video, and I hope that this video will help you to define your career path ahead. He's given some really important insights of how can you amalgamate allied health sciences into dentistry and come up with your own unique concept in dentistry. So I'm not going to talk much about that right now. It's better that you guys have a look at the video. We already know in this current situation, you know, how pandemic is shaping the healthcare industry as a whole. So uh, we do have, uh, you know, students coming up with saying that there is scarcity of jobs in dentistry. I would like you to advise or show some light to these students, you know, in terms of how can they, uh, you know, make a mark after they complete their graduation or, uh, you know, post-graduation in dentistry. And once they're ready to come out in the real world, how should they uh, start off with a, with a practice in dentistry during keeping the current situation in mind? Yes, ma'am. I'll just uh, I just want to say that uh, past two years, this is a scenario what is happening in, in throughout India and throughout global. So before that, I just want to uh, convey a message to undergraduates and postgraduates that basically we all know sterilization protocols. So without our knowledge, we have handled tuberculosis patient, we handled depressive patient, we handled uh, HIV patients. As a oral pathologist, you, you, so many PGs have did a dissertation in HIV patient. So many of PCs have did the dissertation in uh, uh, tuberculosis and all contagious diseases. So uh, the basic protocol of how to keep your uh, clinic in a hygienic way. So I just want to say I have not closed to my clinic, not even a single day during pandemic. Probably I am the one among the dentists in Chennai who opened my clinic complete lockdown last year also, this lockdown also, except Sunday, I opened everything. Because, again, we are a microbiologist. We are not only oral pathologist. We are oral pathologist and uh, microbiologist. We know about all the microorganisms, how to fight with bacteria, how to fight with virus, and how to fight with uh, fungus and everything. Whether it comes in black color or yellow color or white color, whatever color, we know how to fight with them, and we know how to fight with all this thing and that. And we know the... Uh, microbiology, what the LBS pressure to keep in autoclave, what are the sterilization method, method and what are the culture method? Who else will have this much amount of sufficient uh, idea other than a pathology and microbiology? Phenomenon? We know how to control and how to this thing. If at all, if it's mutant also, we are in a capable of say which, which cell, which mutant and where it, the mutation has happened. This cannot, cannot even understand by other branch of dental uh, surgeons also. So what I say is basic dental protocols you just follow, basic pro, uh, COVID protocols you just follow and try to apply your knowledge and don't get scared or don't get panic that I am jobless. So you have a job. The one more thing is uh, nowadays uh, there are so many um, community-based programs. They are uh, recruiting dental surgeons to take swabs. We are thorough in taking uh, uh, swabs. We, 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 we take oral swabs, oral smears. So I, I, in my state itself, so many of uh, dentists 
they have recruited by government or they recruited by private uh, agencies to take the swap. See, that job, getting a government job uh, within this period of two years now, so many oral pathologists, government have recruited. Again, we have to project project that I can able to take the swab. I can able to screening, screening, mass screening. You take 200 swabs sitting in a railway station, you get a pay and you get a government job, you get a remuneration from government, who will give? In this pandemic period also, only oral pathologists can shine. Not we, nobody is uh, bothered about implant. The, the cost, everything has uh, become a problem. The financial crisis and the current crisis, very emergency treatment only they are, uh, we are, they are coming. We are, as a oral pathologist, as a dentist, we are going to offer the government that we are going to we are giving our helping hands to diagnose corona, diagnose COVID. And you just give me some job in primary health center, I'll put my PPE kit and take this smear. If, if at all a good oral pathologist, those who are put in RT-PCR, they let them do a clinic with RT-PCR. It's a high time to start uh, RT-PCR. Now, everywhere, uh, RT-PCR, RT-PCR, RT-PCR. So many PGs have did this station with RT-PCR. If they have thorough knowledge of uh, uh, RT-PCR, this is high time for oral pathologist in, in COVID situation, enter that we can handle RT-PCRs other than medical professionals, other than only uh, those who are uh, equipped. We, as a dentist, we are also have the exposure to do ELISA, RT-PCR, and all, all uh, those things. Under. So don't take difficult things as a, it's, it's a challenge for you. Every challenge, you have an opportunity. You have, to, you have to find the solution for the challenge. So what I found means this is high time. So you, every, you, every time, you know, from uh, medical emergencies, ICU, whatever they see in oral cavity as a black, black color, uh, they will take a picture and send uh, are we in the buckle because I can see a black, is it a black fungus? A lip, I see a black color for my patient, is it a black fungus? They don't know black fungus mycorrhizosis occurs in palate only. So uh, emergency physicians, they are handling the cases in COVID. No? They are taking the, I say that given so much of steroids, you see, given so much of drugs, because of lichen and reaction also, your uh, cheek or uh, lips and all, you may get black color. So this is the way where I am standing. Where I want my postgraduates, where I want oral pathologists, where I want a general dentist with our thorough knowledge, if this is a challenging situation, I accept. But this challenge we have to make more positive for dentistry and more positive for oral pathologist. If you skip this, this opportunity, I don't think we get any golden opportunity to establish ourselves as a, we are also part of your uh, government speaker. We are... We are forensic, we are uh, forensic uh, medicine, forensic dentistry, we are handling, we are handling uh, genetic and molecular analysis, we are, we are screening oral cavity, the only uncurable disease in India is dental caries, nobody has bothered about dental caries, we are doing that thing. And that. So the thing is, I say, confidently you can handle, take vaccination, take uh, precautions, whatever you want to have, and go inside and do the things what you want to do. Nothing uh, beyond your hands. There's no uh, no way to think what I'm going to do. If you start thinking what I'm going to do, that will reduce your energy or that is reduce your. There's no no full step. Yes, sir. Absolutely correct. So, uh, and so, what about the undergraduate level? Because they come up with questions like now since the patient load or the patient influx in the colleges are also less. So they are generally not given patients to, you know, work on and the patients are given either to the interns or to the final year students. So what to say to these kind of students where, you know, to the undergraduation level, because they feel that the, they are not able to acquire the dental skills that are required to be done during the uh, college years. Yes, yes, ma'am. Exactly, exactly. We are not giving cases for undergraduates, even postgraduates also. Nowadays, all exams are going in online only. Yes. Without patients, we have we are doing examination with online uh, mode of examination. Come in other part with uh, laptop, and I will be sitting with another part of laptop instead of patients. Patients' photo will be there. Patients' OPG will be there. So this is a small crisis. So we have paid amount to college. We are came to learn uh, to dental procedures. You can't be able to learn. So, so this is not an end. So we are just coming to, we are just trying, we are just coming out from all these uh, things. So even uh, senior uh, practitioners or senior persons in the dental field, they should sit and think, see, my, my PGs have been vaccinated. My UGs have been vaccinated. I have proper uh, protocols, COVID protocols following here because 
as a individual practitioner, I have not shut my clinic for a single day. So I should not scare to stop my PGs working uh, in my department. I should uh, encourage them. You take all the precautions. Okay. Okay. Fine. So this is one aspect. Other aspect, this is the high time. You just equip yourself theoretically. You just, this, this time you won't get every negative situation. You have to think what positivity. You just try to attend webinars. You just try to attend some sort of online courses. You try to, when you, when you are going out with PDS, at least they can go out with four to five certificate courses. A sort of uh, psychological courses, a sort of clinic management courses, a sort of uh, um, uh, patient education courses, a sort of uh, things they can online, they can go, so they, can, they can attend webinars and they can get an academic updations this area. And dental counselor has given a proper uh, protocols that you follow all these things and uh, start patients. Nowadays, most of the colleges with patients, they have, they have, we have started giving cases to students with uh, proper uh, protocols. Okay, this is for students. Those who finish and come out, those who are interns in come out, no, probably if you're interested, you utilize this time for preparing for post uh, PG examinations, PG NEET examinations. You try to uh, sit and uh, plan for your career. You just Google what are the options. You just listen to these kind of videos. What are the options we can able to, uh, uh, able to get? What are the courses which is easy to update myself? Just starting from basic science, basic genetics, or basic molecular biology, or basic cosmetic dental courses, or whatever it may be, we are back. We are treating patients. So nothing to get panic. Any lag, that lag, you just positively utilize to improve your academic knowledge. So once I finish my clinic, I don't have time to open my book only, to be very frankly. But today, if I go to take class also, one day night, I should sit and read and go. Every day I should uh, re read and go for class. So you can, you can see, see there, uh, yeah, without problem, nothing will come in our life easily. So try to make yourself academically updated with, with doing some sort of fellowship courses, online fellowship courses. Either you can do a sort of, uh, there's a course called as uh, uh, dietitian, uh, on-court dietitian or uh, psychiatric counseling, uh, pediatric psychology. So if you are, uh, there are, there is one courses where my students know they have uh, courses. So they know uh, how to manage physically disabled students in clinic. So two postgraduates of mine, they have learned sign language in this period, and they have started communicating with physically challenged uh, students, students. So I know those two postgraduate students will get job in the place where they handle physically challenge because none of the dentists we, we are we are lagging about we are this is sort of lateral thinking we have to do some sort of lateral thinking we can't just uh, stagnate in one place do a sort of this kind of courses or a psychological courses sign, sign language courses i've told oh, why, why, why can't you do a sign language courses you learn you just try to explain the kid what i'm going to do i'm going to give the injection it won't be painful it will be like sort of numbness that thing then after extraction, how we are going to uh, uh, both the deaf and dumb we are managing means we need none of the dentists uh, in a dental faculty. We have not uh, uh, came across with a, with a communication skill with uh, special children. Yes. So, so, so two of my postgraduates they wrote a book on uh, sports dentistry. I was I was thinking. Well, why can't we write about sports medicine? Why can't we write about uh, sports dentistry? So this is the time you think and bring out your novelty, what is inside you. And at the same time, those who are willing to participate in uh, postgraduate need examination, you sincerely study. Probably this time, this free calmness may give you the, ex without parental pressure, you can get whatever uh, seat you want, uh, whatever uh, courses you want. You can't able to compromise anywhere. And uh, it, 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 this, this, this too shall pass on. I have to say that this too shall pass on. Yes, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So all you audience, you see, uh, you know, sir has given so many insights on how you can uh, integrate dentistry with any other allied, you know, sciences fields that we have. You can, uh, like he mentioned, sign language and dentistry. Then he mentions about sports dentistry. So many other things that you, you, you can do with dentistry. Uh, as he very correctly mentioned, during this period, make sure that your theoretical knowledge is very up to the mark and you indulge in webinars or courses which give you hands-on, uh, if not hands-on, at least an insights on how to have a good practice management skills on how to, you know, educate your patients, the importance of record keeping and so on. Because once, you know, everything settles down, there is also initiatives by government which is done where they are going to mandate the importance or they're going to mandate that you will have to keep record 
records for all your patients in your dental practice. So I think that's very, very important. And thank you so much, sir, for enlightening the students in, in, in these various other allied, you know, healthcare sciences that can be merged with dentistry to come up with more advanced fields in dentistry. So that's it for today. I hope that this video was a bit motivational. The only, uh, you know, the only motive behind this video was to uh, motivate you guys to uh, make you sure, to give you this assurity that dentistry is not going anywhere. Yes, agree to the fact that this is a little difficult phase that you guys are into and we all are into this. But uh, I just hope and we all hope that, you know, this will, this shall too pass. Uh, we are seeing a decline in COVID, but we really don't know what is going to happen next. Um, keeping all our fingers crossed, I wish you all the best. And if this video was helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye and good luck.